Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to combine the records from multiple tables or queries into a single data set, a single query, using a union query in Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from Sarah in Bar Harbor, Maine, one of my Platinum members. Sarah says, I've got a table for customers and a separate table for employees. Is there any way to join them together in a single query so that I can generate reports like mailing labels in one shot? Right now, I have to do everything twice and have two separate reports for everything. Well, yes, Sarah, we can certainly combine those records together. We're not going to use the word join. Join is a special database term that we use to join related tables together. For example, customers and orders. You can see all the orders with the customer details. We're going to combine two tables. We're going to combine the customers with the employees, right? I've got six customers and two employees. We're going to combine those together into one query, a union query, and we'll have eight total records. The tables have to have similar fields like first name, last name, phone number. The ID fields, as you'll see, will be different, but that's okay. We'll just call them ID and the resultant table. And this way, you can make one set of mailing labels, one set of reports, if everything's the same. All right, how do we do this in Access? Well, before we get started, I'm going to strongly recommend you go watch my SQL Basics video. It's free. It's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel. Go watch it. You will need to know a little bit about SQL in order to do a union query. There is no graphical designer for union queries. You have to do it in SQL. It's not hard. I'm going to show you how to do it. But... Go watch this video first. All right, there's the link. I'll put a link down below in the description below the video. Go click on that. Go watch this video. And then come back when you're done. Go on. Get out of here. Okay, so now that you know a little bit about SQL, let's go ahead and open up my Tech Help free template. This, again, is a free download from my website. You can go grab a copy if you want. Again, you'll find a link down below in the link section. Now, in this table, I already have a customer table. All right, customer ID, first name, last name, and so on. Let's say we want to also store our employees. We'll need to make an employee table. Now, I know a lot of you have separate tables for things like customers, employees, managers. Me personally, if I was going to design this from the beginning, I'd make a single person table. And then I would just have a person type in here. Like this person's a customer, this person's an employee, this person's a manager, right? Just have a different field in there that indicates what they are. Because we're all storing the same stuff, right? A first name, a last name, email, address, city, state. It's all the same fields, okay? But it's easier to just start with customer T when I'm teaching beginners, okay? I know a lot of you already have your databases built this way, so that's where union queries come in handy because then you can join two similar tables together. If you want to send a mailing to all of your customers and your employees and your managers and your vendors, right? Let's say it's a, a year-end holiday card or something. You want to put them all together in one big query and send them all out at the same time. That's where a union query comes in handy. So let's go ahead and make an employee table. Create table design. All right, we've got an employee ID. That's our auto number. First name, short text, last name, and let's just do a phone number too. Okay, let's say we're making a let's say we're making a single unified phone number list. Okay, save that. This will be my employee table. Employee T, primary key, yes. And then we can close that down and put some sample data in it. I'm a Trekkie, but I get emails that I show no love to the DS9 crew. So let's put in here, we got Ben, Cisco. We got Kira Norris. Remember, it's backwards, though. Kira Norris. <laughs> okay. And we got, let's do Miles O'Brien. Okay. Is it E-N or A-N? I'm not sure. Okay, I Google it. It's E-N. <laughs> I do Odo and Quark, but they just have to put them in here as Mr., I guess. They don't use surnames. Anyways, okay. We've got a couple of employees in here. Now I want to bring customers and employees together using a union query. So let's go to Create, Query Design. Now this will start off like a normal query. All right, bring in your customer table. Bring in the fields you want, like customer ID, first name, last name, and we'll do phone number. Okay, now here's where it gets interesting. They give you a little button up here that says Union Query. Don't click on it. If you click on it, it will put you in SQL view and clear what you just did. It's stupid, I know. All right? 
if you go back to design view, right? Data sheet view, whatever. See, there's nothing in there. You can't even go back to design view here. All right, I don't like that. It's dumb. Go back to select query. No, see, it just messed everything all up. Close this, start over. And I do that to show you that that button is dumb. Unless you click union query right from the beginning, it's, it's meaningless. All right, go to create again, query design. Bring in your customer table again. Bring in your fields. Customer T, first name, last name, and phone number. Now, don't hit the union query button. Instead, we're going to go to SQL view. All right, you could either drop this box down over here and pick SQL view, or you can right-click on the title bar and go to SQL view. There we go. Now we got some SQL we can work with. Now, I'm going to zoom in so you can see this a little better. Shift F2, my font's bigger here in the zoom window. Okay, first thing I show you in my SQL seminar that I have is that I can get rid of the table names in here because I only have one table here. All right, it makes this more readable. So I'm going to get rid of the customer T everywhere. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of that, get rid of that, from customer T. Okay, that's all you need for a basic query. Get rid of the semicolon, because we're going to continue this now. Semicolon means end of the statement. We're going to add more onto this. We're going to type in the word union. That means I'm going to join that data together with some more data. All right, what's the more data? Well, I'm going to go grab the stuff from the employee T that matches this. So, so copy this, control C, come down here, paste, control V. All right, now just change these fields and the table name to what match. So we have employee ID here. First name, last name, phone number are the same. I name them the same intentionally, but even if they are named different, like this is F, N, L, N, you can change them here and that's okay. As long as the data types match up, you're good. They got to be in the same order. All right, and then we'll change this to employee T. Okay, that's it. That's all you need. Hit OK. Save this. I'll call this my union query, union queue. And now run it. There you go. They're all joined together. Do you see why I told you it's handy if you know a little bit of SQL first? Right, that little tiny bit of investment in some knowledge is, is good now because we can get into a little more advanced topics, right? Now, notice here it called this customer ID. Okay, because that was the first field it ran into. But that's kind of misleading because now we have our, our customer ID and our employee ID mingled together. Let's just call this ID so it's not ambiguous, right? Go back to SQL view. We're going to add an alias in here. Let me shift F2 so you can see it better. All right, select customer ID as ID. As means it's an alias. We're going to name it something else. You could say as Big Mac here if you want to, and it'd be called Big Mac. All right, now come down here and give this guy the same name as ID. Okay, hit OK, and then run it. There you go. Now it's just an ID. Want to know whether this is a customer or an employee? Well, let's add another field. Let's go back to SQL view. All right, let me zoom in. Okay, right here at the end, we can add our own bit of data right in the SQL so we can indicate whether it's an employee or a customer. Let's put an E for employees and C for customers. So here's what we're going to do. Comma, C as person type. All right, we'll do the same thing down here. Or you can put the word employee or the word customer if you want to. All right, E for employee, C for customer. See, or you can put the full word customer in here, whatever you want. Hit OK, save it, and now run it. And now you can see who the employees are and who the customers are. All right? That's an employee. That's a customer. Kind of neat, huh? See? Learn some SQL. It's good stuff. Now, these items aren't in any particular order in here. How do we sort this? How do we sort this combined list here? I will show you that in just a second. But first, a word from our sponsor, and that happens to be me. If you want to learn a lot more about union queries, check out my Access Expert Level 16 class. I cover all kinds of stuff, including union queries, but there's all kinds of other stuff in here. Make table queries, backing up tables to another database, all kinds of other stuff. Every one of my levels is at least an hour long, and they always contain a bunch of stuff, so check that out. It's Access Expert Level 16. I'll put a link down below. And if you really want to learn SQL, and trust me, SQL is powerful, all right? Learning basic access is one thing. 
learning expert access and other thing. Once you get into SQL and even VBA, then your databases become really powerful. And I got this thing called the SQL Seminar. It's three parts. Part one is all the basics. Check it out. Again, I'll put a link down below. Okay, so we're back in here. Let's go back into Shift F2. I'm going to sort this list. All right, all we got to do is come down here on the bottom after all of that stuff and say order by two words, last name, comma, first name. And if you want to, if you're going to be a stickler, you want proper SQL, you can put your semicolon there. Someone recently asked me, you know, do you have to have that semicolon? No, you don't. Some server applications will require it. Access does not. You don't have to put it there if you don't want to. All right, that just signifies the end of the statement. Access usually only processes one SQL statement at a time. Some servers can process multiple statements in, in series. Okay, so there we go. Save it and run it, and you'll see that it's now sorted by last name and then first name. And that's how you sort a union query. And you can add whereby's and all kinds of conditions and all this stuff in here too. This is just the basics. Now, one thing you will notice, there's no new row on the bottom down here. And if you want to try changing some of this data, if you click in here and type, it says this record set's not updatable. Why? Because once you make the union query, you can't update this information. It's for display purposes only. If you want an easy way to be able to edit this information, I will show you how in the extended cut for the members. Want to learn more? In the extended cut for the members, I will show you how to easily edit the records that result in that union query. Now, you can't edit them in the query itself. That's impossible. You can't use a single or a continuous form. But I will show you a very easy technique where we have a list box on a form that's got all of your results from the union query in it. And then the record pops up right next to it. So you can very quickly and easily edit the record right there. Right, here we are, right? Click on Jim Kirk, there he is. Customer record appears right here. You could change this, right? 444-1111. Come back over here and it updates. See that? Now he was a customer. Go to an employee record, look at that. You change the record over here. Okay, come over here and then it updates, all right? Or if you're on a customer and you wanna edit the full customer record, not just the first name and last name and the phone number, double click and it pops up the full customer form. Okay, so that is all covered in the extended cut video, 26 minutes long, it's a half an hour. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos, not just this one, all of them. All right, there's what, about 200 of them now. Okay, gold members can actually download these databases that I build in the videos. This video alone is worth the price of membership. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full-length courses found on my website, and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select All to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.